everybody, it's me Lily from AG Crafty Life and today I'm going to be reviewing to you the awesome app of Generations Retro's 50 Diner. I'm super excited, this set is so, so, so amazing and there's batteries and it's really, really cool so I'm so excited to be reviewing this to you guys. So, without further ado, let's get on with the video. So here's like the seating area. There's two like booths. They're like just one chair. And there's this nice tile on them. They're plastic. It's very detailed. And then we have this table here. And on the table we have napkins, mustard, ketchup, salt, pepper, sugar, two blue cups for water. We've also got this window, which is cool. It's open, but then you can close it like that. And then you can fold it down if, if you need to store it. Um, and when it came packaged, it came folded down. So you just need to put it up. And that's cool how this can open and close. So you can make it close like for night, but then open for the day. You can maybe put a scene behind this. Um, something else cool on the table is that. There's a jukebox, and it plays music. How cool is that, guys? It plays many different songs. This is only one of them. And you press it by pushing the heart button. But it won't stop. You need to wait till the music is done to stop it. Um, so that's cool. And I like how they added the jukebox, because American Girl has to move to buy it typically for $90. And the diner. So I like how that's added as a small little jukebox in the diner and it plays retro music from the 50s. Um, and then over there, the other seat, it's the same. Then this table folds down. You see this leg here, you can fold it down and then fold it. I don't want to risk folding it because I don't want all these amazing items to fall, but it can fold down for storage and then you can pull this leg back up when you want to. And that's really cool how our generation lets you store it so then if you're moving, um, you, you got it. You, nothing will break. So here's like the front of the cafe. So it says OG Cafe here, which is nice and detailed. And then there's these gray windows. And that kind of makes me a little disappointed. They could have put like a picture here or gave you a sticker. So it didn't look like gray windows. At least they could have gave you a fake little door that looked like you could take a fake picture. Like, I'm in front of the OG Cafe. Woohoo! And now look what they gave you. Gray windows. I don't know. Did the store shut down? No. So I'm not sure what our generation was trying to do. Um, but anyway, this was a separate piece that you had to clip this on yourself. But it was quite easy and we figured it out right away. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but it's still great. So here on the back wall of the diner, there's this chalkboard here that says menu. And there's a piece of chalk here where you can draw on it. So you can write the menu specials of the day, which is cool. And our generation adds a lot of chalkboards to many of their items. Above the chalkboard, there's this little shelf. We have this nice, a small plate, a medium plate, and a large plate, which don't have any food on them. Then here we have a, a cup of coffee, which is detailed. A water pitcher, which is nice. Clear, of course. And the coffee mug, which doesn't have a full handle, which is red. So that's the top shelf. This shelf, this shelf is pretty durable. Then we have this phone here, a fake pay phone. It says 10 cents, it's very detailed, and then the phone comes off the hook. And I like that, because the American Girl was just um, but it doesn't stretch very far. That's as far as it goes. So this is the back wall of the diner. And then over there, there's like the door to the diner. Um, so yeah. So here's the front of the diner. There's these two stools, which are nice. They're like not very stable. People are kind of complaining with them. They're okay, but they're nice for decoration. Then um, the floor print. We can zoom in on that. Is the black and pink checkered pattern, which is nice. And then over there, you can see the table folded down. So that's what it looks like when it's folded down. And then 
um, we can move these tools out of the way. This print is like a heart design. And there's lights. Um, and to get the lights on, you have to reach behind this counter and press this button. And I will show you where that button is in a minute. So there's what those lights look like, and they do not shut off automatically. So you have to go back under and shut it off like that. Um, so that's a really nice feature, like for a shot, like to get some more light. And that goes all the way along the side too, here. Um, so I really like how the front area of the diner looks, and I think it's a really nice diner, and I, I would love to eat here if I could, but I can't because it's for my dolls. So here's some of the food that comes with the diner. These are all stuck, so you can't take them off. We have pancakes on a plate. Um, you can see the syrup, the blueberries, the butter. Um, and you might have seen this before because I used it in the cook-off. We have, again, um, the chicken fingers and fries, or it could be fish sticks. Our generation says it's fish sticks, but it looks like chicken fingers and fries. And there's a sauce, and then there's a fruit over there. Um, and you might have seen this again because this is from the cook-off. Then we have a meatball sandwich. Um, there's like the thing of inside the sandwich. I'm not sure if it's meatball, that's just what we called it. And then there's a fruit here again. And this is nice too. We have soup, which is in a bowl. Um, and then two crackers. And the crackers have that sharp edge. And it's red and it's detailed. By the way, none of this comes out or off anything. Here are the fries. It comes in this fake metal tin. Um, here are the fries. Someone said it's poutine, but it's not. And you know how like, they usually put a paper down? It's paper. I'm kind of disappointed with that. They could have just used cloth, but paper is okay. But these aren't poutine, it's fries. Next we have this little plate, and on it is a brownie with ice cream. And this looks so detailed, and I love having these at restaurants. Um, so this is another dessert. Next is the banana split. And you may have seen this before because it came with the ice cream truck. It's the same exact thing. So that's okay. I have both, that's why, but probably people buy one or the other. I have both because I've been collecting for a couple years. And the last thing is a strawberry sundae. And this again came with the ice cream truck. Um, but the ice cream truck came with many varieties. This one only comes with two pieces of ice cream. Well, three, but two. So here's all the food that you can't take out or off. But there's other food that's removable. So here's some of the food that's not um, stuck to plates. We have a hamburger here, and there's an em another empty plate. Um, so we have the top bun. Then the pickles then the meat, then the lettuce, and the bottom bun, and all this is rubber. So for example, if you want a burger without the pickles, you can take the pickles out and then just put the bun on top. Or um, if you, my mom was playing with the diner once and she wanted to put the pickles in the soup. So you're able to take stuff out. Um, so that goes on the plate there. Then we've got sausage. It's three pieces clumped together, um, but it's just sausage. So you can put that on like a breakfast plate. We have a hot dog here with the detailed bun. And then the meat actually comes out. And on one side it looks like there's mustard. But then on the other side it's black. So if you don't like mustard in your hot dog, you can put it in the other way. But I don't mind mustard, so we can put it in that way. And then this literally just, the bun opens up and this just fits it. There we are. So that's detailed and cool. Then we have eggs, um, just plain old eggs, which is nice, and the bottom's just white for a breakfast plate. And then we have two pieces of bacon. Here's one. Um, the other piece is exactly the same. Um, and the American Girl bacon um, is stuck together, and there's three, but this one is only two. So all um, of this food you can put on plates. For example, if you have a breakfast tray but you don't want something, you're able to um, take that off and make your own tray, which is great. So here's another one of the desserts that come in the set. We have this piece of cake, which is super detailed. There's a strawberry there, and that's nice. 
And here's the cake itself. It's big, of course. There's many strawberries. There's the deep, the lining inside. And this piece of cake fits in like here. So that's why you can take it out and make it look like someone's eating a piece of cake. Then we have the lid for the cake display, which is clear. And there's like this bowl of the handle, which is cool. And then we have the cake display itself. Um, and it's not very sturdy, like the plastic's sturdy, but it doesn't stand very well. Um, but it's clear and the cake fits on it. Um, and then the lid fits on it, so I'll show you here. So we can put this on it, and then this on it, and then we can put the lid on it. So here's how it looks. I'm just holding it because it's going to fall over soon. Um, so that's cool. You can have a cake in the diner because it looks really good, and I love cake cake right now. So here's some of the accessories you might need when you come to the diner. The guest check pad, like so you can take their orders, and there's actually quite a few sheets. So you can rip them off. I haven't yet, and I probably don't want to, but it's cool how you can do that. Because American Girl has pre-made guest checks. So I would have to give that to our generation. Then we have a fake detailed pencil with the eraser and everything. Great. Then we have money. They're just bills. They're all taped together. There's ten tens. No, there's six tens. And six twenties, so that equals one hundred and eighty dollars. And then there's um coins here, so we have a um nickel, a quarter, and a dime. Um, so these are money, of course, you'll need. And then the guest check for whichever doll you decide to be the waitress. So here's all the drinks that come in the set. First, we have this um strawberry shake. With a strawberry and a straw, which is nice. And I believe this came with Shakespeare and Chuck, but I'm not totally sure. I'm just going to put this beside. Then we have this um, orange soda, which is cool. And there's a straw which bends back and forth. And the orange piece is just stuck in there, and the straw is just stuck in there. Cool. Then we have a grape soda, which is exactly the same, it's just different colors. It's purple instead of orange. Then we have um, a like um, sprite, um, and at the beginning I thought this was a bottle of like um, vinegar, but then I realized because of the straw, so it's in a weird kind of shape, but it's nice. And the straw does not move around, and then here's a Coke, and the straw doesn't move around. And then here's um, two water cups and a coffee cup, which I already reviewed earlier, so I'm not going to go over that again. So these are all the drinks that come in the set, and our generation gives you a big variety, which is nice, so your dolls can drink many different things every time they come to the diner. So here's some of the other accessories that come in the set. We have two dark blue bowls, which are empty, and they're quite um, deep, so you can put like food in there, like desserts and stuff like that. Then we've got utensils. Two knives, two forks, and two spoons. Um, and they're all plastic very diesel, but I'm very disappointed with the knives. I mean very disappointed. American Girl made it so realistic with metal. Let's say our generation doesn't use metal because American Girl is better quality. But it's not sure, but it's so fake. We, we know, and I don't like how that looks. So I'm a bit disappointed with the knives, but the forks are great and the spoons are great. As well, so here's some of the other accessories that come in the set that you might need when you're working in the diner. So with the diner, you have to put some stuff together. So the set comes with an instruction sheet. It's just a piece of paper, but it's double-sided, and it walks you through what's first, what's second, and it gives you step-by-step -step instructions to build the diner, which is great, and it's handy that you have an instruction sheet. So here's the dessert display case. It opens like this here with this heart and then inside we have this pie. It's a blueberry and then here um, is like the main piece of the pie and here's the slice. And we can look in the side of the pie and we can see all those little blueberry details. Oh my god, I love how our generation put that detail in and then there's the fake pie pan. And this just fits in. Um, by the way, that's the cake above there. And here we have donuts. There's quite a few of these. 
They're very detailed. They're the same that what came with our generation ice cream truck. They're sprinkled. They're very good quality. I'm very happy with those. I really like all the desserts our generation added in. Then here we have um, some cookies that look like this. I'm only taking one out. It's a, it's a sugar cookie heart with like jam in the middle. Here's what the back look like. So if you don't want the jam in the middle, you can flip it over and just say, yum, I'm eating the sugar cookie. And then we have two different kinds of cupcakes. Here's one kind. And not sure what the other kind is. Let's see. These are exactly the same. Um, but anyways, they're very detailed. And they're mini, so you can have like two mini cupcakes. And I love mini cupcakes. And they're a nice little snack to have, like, as a dessert. And I really like this display cake. Um, so everything just fits in. By the way, there's doors on the other side, but this is easier to put it in. We can close that. And then, here's a really cool feature. It spins, we can see. There's this wheel in the back. Um, it's hard to explain, but you just spin it, and then it, it, it can go the other way. And when you're using it in a shop, someone can be back here where the dolls can be spinning it, which is very detailed, and I like how they made that spin. And this piece, you don't have to put in. This piece is stuck in. So here's the counter area. We have this counter here, the main counter, um, where the people who's sitting at the bar can, like, eat. But then we have this side counter here, and I know there's a sticker on it, which says pull the tab, which I already pulled a long time ago. But I do not want to take it off, because sometimes it leaves a sticker feeling, which I don't like. But anyways, this shelf can be used for like, the workers preparing the food, but then this shelf folds in. So then the, the doll can get back here and then stand. And there's quite a bit of room back here. So this folds here, and then this folds out. So this is a nice showing, and as you see, there's this design on the counter, which looks so real, like a stain and everything, so that's really cool. So when you fold up the counter behind you, we have the button to turn on those lights, which I showed earlier, but there's actually the button. And when you pull the tab, you pull the tab to let that work. And then here, there's a shelf, and then like a bin. For extra storage, so when an item is not in the display case or on the counter or on the table, you can put it there and nobody will see it. And when you need it, you can just reach behind here and grab it. So that's cool. So that's all, guys. That's the Our Generation Diner. I like this set. Um, I would recommend it, but there's a couple changes I would make if I owned Our Generation. Um, one is that there's actually a cooking area, like where do the dolls actually make the food? Um, yes, you have those counters back there, but yes, you don't have what the American Girl Kitchen gives you, a grill. So you can get the dolls actually pretending to cook the food to give to the waitress or the waiter to give to the um, customers. So that would be one thing I would change. So out of, if I had five stars, I would take one off of that. Um, so I would rate this at about a 3.5 star because there's a couple other things that I would change. For example, on the stool, they're not stuck to the ground, so the dolls can wibble wobble a bit. So I'll take off five for that. And then the last thing, so I'm actually going to make it a three, is that the, ch the booths are only for one person. American Girls Diner can fit like seven or eight people in um, the diner. This one can only hold four. Because the American Girl booze was meant for four or five. So that kind of disappoints me, but it's still a great set because this is way cheaper than the American Girl Diner. And it comes with way more food, and the food's pretty good quality. So I would rate the set about a three. Um, but I still really, really, really recommend it, especially if you get it on sale. On I, If you get it on sale, I think you should buy it. But if you don't, still get it. I love this set. Comment, like, and subscribe in the comments. I would like to know um, what you would change about the diner and if you would buy it for the price it is. And if you prefer this diner or the American Girl Diner. Um, and my goal is to get your...